All right, so today we're gonna be crafting a pair of elusive boots. The goal is to obtain a pair of boots with high movement speed, high elemental resistances, elusive on crit, and maybe even hit something like high spell suppression or high stat attributes along the way. What I have here is an exalt's worth of shrieking essences of hatred, and what we want to do is land either triple T2 resistances or double T2 resistances with something like high spell suppression or intelligence. So after spending almost all the essences that I bought, I was finally able to land on a T1 lightning res with a T2 spell suppression. Now obviously a T1 spell suppression would have been ideal, but I think T2 should be good enough for the time being. From here, we'll want to craft on a suffixes cannot be changed benchcraft and annul one of the other prefixes so that we can have an open prefix for the redeemer influence mod. Unfortunately, if we annul the benchcraft, we will have to repeat this step again. After opening up one of the prefixes, I went to purchase a Redeemer Exalted Orb so that I can force the Redeemer influence onto the pair of boots. If we're able to hit the Elusive on Crit mod here, this will save us about two exalts for this craft. Unfortunately, I ended up hitting Unaffected by Chilled Ground. So what we'll want to do now is craft Reforge Crit with Harvest Craft to guarantee that we land the Elusive on Crit modifier. Now from here we'll want to craft another suffixes cannot be changed and then use a T4 Ashland craft for a 50-50 chance to replace the bench crafted mod. However, at the time of this craft, Ashling slams were an awfully low supply on the TFT Discord, so I ended up farming my own Ashling slam, which ultimately saved me 3 to 4 exalts in this craft. Luckily, I did end up removing the bench craft and not the elusive mod on my first try. Now with this, we want to benchcraft on mana in order to block any unwanted modifiers for the unveiling. And there you have it, movement speed and onslaught on kill. After checking on the PoE website, I would say these boots are worth roughly 20 exalts, but since my pair of boots are actually not that great right now, I'll probably end up using these myself. If you enjoy seeing crafting videos like this one, consider subscribing. Thank you so much for watching this video to the end, and I hope to see you guys next time.